So if you happen to be here from TikTok, then let me back this up just a little bit for you here. Then you know I have quite a few of these boxes here that I acquired uh, shortly after first of the year after the holidays. They were on clearance. Um, so I'm going to pop up one of these tonight just to kind of show you what's inside. Uh, we may open the packs in them. We may not. Uh, I will be honest, as y'all know. I hope it's a blue eyes white. <laughs> oh man, that's that's funny. That's funny. I love you, man. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the support. <laughs> but we are gonna open this. I'll show you what's inside. Um, so far, the few that I have opened off camera or for my TikTok, I have gotten an Evo pack out of each one of these. And I don't want to disappoint anybody too much, but uh, we're not going to open any Evo packs we come across for right now. Um, if you happen to catch my birthday TikTok, then you will know that my amazing, awesome wife, who is super supportive, bought me a few ETBs of Evolutions for my birthday. So that is amazing. Well, she also got me these Hidden Fates ETBs, which we are going to open tonight, which I am super, super excited about. But I am pretty excited about this Gengar little pack here that we found tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rip into this. And check this thing out here. Yep. Good old Rebel Clash code card for anyone that wants it. And I guess these would be my promo cards here. Oh, oh my goodness. And the one that I wanted to show you slid off the edge of the table. Literally, the hollow slid off the edge of the table. How cool is that? So, it looks like the promo cards are the... Let me just fix this light here a little. Why is it just glaring like crazy? So, it looks like the promo cards were the whole gas family. So, Ghastly, Hunter, and a hollow Gengar. Which is too far for me to reach. So, that's awesome. Totally... Totally jacked that up, I guess. It literally slid right off the edge. So, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Let's uh, let's get into this before we get into the big boxes here. Let's just see what we get out of this little thing here. Maybe we'll get some Walmart pack restock look. Code card for anyone that wants it. One, two, three, four. And let's go with Fire Energy. Ooh, Psychic, of course. It's always Psychic with, with Rebel Clash. So let's see here. We got the old Training Court. A Lampant. A Metacham. Helipatile. Voltorb. Sandy Gas. Vulpix. Coughing. Ooh, a Reverse Hollow Halucha. And let's see here. Let's see if we got anything good. Nope. Regular scissor. But that's okay. I'm just here to collect and have fun, so not a big deal at all. So, before I get into the big box, I'm also really anxious to open this. So, let's open up this thing here and see what all's in it. I've never opened a battle deck before, and I've definitely never opened one of these before, so it'll be interesting to see. But I love the promo cards that are in it, so. That could be fun. Why are these things always such a bear to get into? Oh, okay. So it comes with some other goodies in it here. Nice. So I assume that's the battle deck there. Code card. What is this here? Oh, okay, I guess it just talks about the battle deck, maybe. Looks like instructions on how to use it. Okay. I don't actually play the game <laughs> like most people. I just collect the cards. So that's interesting here. So we have dice, which if you actually know how to play the game, you probably know how to use. I do not. Cool little GX tag team pin and... Looks like the little coins for the game. Not sure what those do. They look cool, though. And 
I have a metal GX coin, but this is like a resin kind of plastic, so that's pretty cool. A little bit different to add to the collection. And here are my promo cards. Uh, let's see. Look at this plastic out of the way. Look, I about dropped it off the table again. Alright, so let's start with this one because it don't even have Pikachu on it. But I do love Raichu. And a tag team card is just really awesome. I think those are great. I really like them. What's better than one Pokemon on a card? I mean, two, obviously. Duh. So, these promo cards we get a sleeve. By the way, I got really lucky getting these, actually. And at this point, I'm not even sure where it came from anymore. But I have not seen another one like it on a store shelf anywhere. And I'm not 100% sure why it came with two of the exact same card, but hey. I will take it. Not going to argue with that. So we'll sleeve these and see what's in this battle deck here. I'm sure it's just an assortment of cards that are actually used for the game. But I've never opened one, so we shall see. Okay, so we got a Tapu Coco card that is some sort of shiny polo hmm okay I like that it's pretty cool I actually have a couple more boxes of this that come with like a little toy and stuff that I opened on my last little stream but it didn't even have a, a card for him yeah sorry it's not a <laughs> sorry it's not a blue eyes white dragon I know you really wanted one of this <laughs> oh, let's see here yeah, so we have team cards, team... Okay, yeah, so these are all just support cards, so you can actually use this for battling. Look at that. Energies, energies. If I understood how to play the game, this might mean something to me. But we're just here to collect cool stuff, right? So I'll put these back in the box. All in all, though, Fun little box. Got that, which I wasn't expecting. And then the couple of promo cards, which are really cool. So, happy with that. Alright, so, let's get into this thing here. So, again, I've opened a very few of these, mostly for the content I have currently on TikTok and things like that. They're kind of a bear to open because. It's a lot of packaging to get through. But they usually have some good stuff in them. We'll save the ball for last. Let's do the, let's do the little lunch box here first. And so far, I mean, other people's experiences may vary. But each one of these I've opened, which this makes maybe six or seven. It's making 122 is now a part of this. Yo, thank you for joining Spinky122. I appreciate that very much and welcome. Hopefully you enjoy the opening. So, again, each one of these I've opened, which this makes about five or six for me, has all come with this exact same setup. So you get a, a Grookey, a Score Bunny, and a Sobel uh, Hollow. You get the cool little collectible coin. And that comes in all of them. Here we have our cards. We'll get to that in a second. So each one of these also comes with a various array of stickers. It comes with a... Come on now. Let's get the box of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. It comes with a notepad for you to write on. And it comes with this really cool little booklet that holds about 30 cards or so. What's up? What's up? Jay Smooth, what's good, man? What's good? Welcome, welcome. Uh, this holds about 30 cards or so, and it's just a little booklet you can put your cards in. Pretty cool. Not something that you would necessarily put, like, your best cards in, maybe, but still. Cool nonetheless. So, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this here. So, each one of these, oh, code card. For anybody that wants that. So each one of these so far that I've opened has come with two sword and shields. Oh, I see it already. I see it already. I already know. One Ultra Prism, one Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, 
and my absolute favorite. Everybody knows Evolutions. And I know, I know, I hate it, I hate it. Don't be too mad, but we're not gonna open any Evos for a while. I want to, I want to save the various Evos I get out of packs. Um, and then with the, the ETBs that I got for my birthday, I want to do one one stream where we just we just open evolutions packs. We go for that Charizard, the Dragonite. We go we go for it all. We're gonna sit here and we're just gonna open evolutions until we just we just can't open anymore. And that's just it's gonna be awesome. I promise. So we'll slide these over here to the side and let's see what's in here. Uh, as far as I've seen, most of these come with three packs of cards in them. Again, the ones I've opened so far, which has been five or six, I think this may be seven, has all come with an evolution pack. So let's see if that luck continues for me. It's, come on, it's the one on top. Look, they knew, they knew what I wanted. They knew what I was here for. Look at that. Ah, oh, that makes me so happy. Uh, Sun and Moon and a Primal Clash. And then you also get a little metal coin out of these as well. And I have quite a bit of these. And when I say quite a bit, I mean quite a bit. Like I bought literally like a hundred. Yes, let's go, let's go. All right, so let's start with the good old Primal Clash here. A lot of people don't like these sets. They say they're trash. There is some decent cards. Like, I mean, if you're only getting these cards for like value and money, then like, I promise you, this is really not the thing to get into. Um, spoilers. Of course it was upside down. Why wouldn't it be? We, we dealt with this the first few packs last time too. Um, but, but Primal Clash does still have some decent cards. I can't remember if it's a four count, so that's what we're going to try and hopefully not mess this up. Yeah, see, I don't know. I don't know if I messed that up or not. So let's see what we got here. We got Delcati, Energy, Rhydon, Buffalant, Bidoof, Chinchu, Electrike, Tentacool, oh wow, look at that, spoilers, Rhyhorn, and a Reverse Hollow. Wow, so that was a that was a white code card and we got a Reverse Hollow, okay. So pro maybe Primal Clash really is just garbage, spoilers, yeah, exactly. Um, but again, I'm, I'm in it to just collect, see what I can get. I'm not worried about selling or getting, you know, obviously certain packs, Vivid Voltage, you know. We want the Pikachu, of course, like everyone. And we want, you know, we want the cool, really rare cards, but I'm not just going to be super upset if that doesn't happen, you know. I just want to collect as many of them as I can, preferably by the end of this adventure um i would love to have like master sets so one of literally every card that the sets have to offer that is fairly difficult especially for things like evolutions which aren't made anymore um but maybe maybe it's something we can pull off with champion's path uh vivid voltage even hidden fates even though hidden fates is just holy crap is it expensive now it has really 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 blown up so easy shot what is up man what is up what is up so um uh, Let's, let's see what's in this Burning Shadows pack now. Let's see if we can get anything out of here. Let's see if the let's see if the code card spoilers. Let's see if it's Oh, it's right. Finally. Alright. Should be four. One, two, three, four. We'll go with water. Ooh, grass. Okay. Okay. Soul Rock, Wishful Baton, Mount Lanalkilla, Lana Sneasel, Charmander, one of my favorites right there, Crab Brawler, Meowth, Stuffle, Reverse Hollow, Curlia, and a regular Weevil. Okay, it's all right. It is all right. I actually need to go through some of these. I know a little bit more about Champion's Path and uh, some of the more popular newer ones than I just know these other ones, so I need to just chill on it, get more stuff today. Let's hey, so uh, actually I was just telling chat before you got here that uh, I actually caught a Walmart restock today. Uh, didn't get, you know, the biggest amount of anything, but they did have a few more like the Champion's Path Hatterene boxes, so I got one or two of those. Got a couple of tins, and uh, I opened 
when I first started I opened a Gengar uh, little like single rebel clash pack that had a, a Gengar hollow promo in it so it was pretty cool and by the way I don't know if any of y'all have had these but FYE sells these back to the future energy drinks blue raspberry it's amazing I don't know if it actually gives you any energy but it tastes great So, heck yeah, yeah, it was, it was really awesome. My, uh, my cousin actually called me while I was still at work and told me about one of the Walmarts near us restocking, and we went and checked out both of them near us, and we got a little bit. It, they had already been hit. I mean, he called me maybe 30 minutes before I got off work, and they had just been demolished already, so I don't know if they had anything bigger or better than what I found, but it had been gone through. Come on, guys. Come on, really? Why, why would they do that? I guess I'm sick of that. Spoilers again. But you know, I've noticed it tends to be the packs that are less sought after by people. The uh, Primal Clash, the was that Ultra Prism and stuff like that. Like the less popular packs tend to have more of the code cards turned the wrong way. So I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. But let's guess fighting. Leaf again, two in a row. Really? Come on now. So, Alolan Dugtrio, Kranidos, Vaulkner, Alolan Vulpix. Wow, there's like three of them on there. I don't think I've ever seen that card before. That's actually a really cool card. If it was hollow, it'd be super cool. But I really like that. That's awesome. Alolan Sandshrew. So, what is this Ultra Prism? Is it all Alolans? Like, I've never gotten that many in a pack before. Pakarisu, Hatcherisu, Chimchar, Electabuzz, a Reverse Hollow Bastodon, and a Heat Rodom Regular, which we knew because we got the green card. So, Ultra Prism packs are worth a lot right now. A Booster Box goes for three. Are you serious? Ultra Prisms are. What? D troll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So. Why? Okay, so why is Ultra Prism blown up? Does it have... The booster boxes are worth a lot. Really? I didn't think Ultra Prism was worth anything. But granted, in my area, at least, you know, Evolutions, uh, Vivid Voltage, all that stuff is still the main meat and potatoes, so the prices of those are absolutely nuts. Alright, so let's get into it with a little Sun and Moon. I'm not trying to go too fast, y'all. I'm just really excited to open these Hidden Fates ETBs. Like, y'all don't even understand. Like, I'm so excited. Come on now, get out of there. All right, let's see if the code card spools it for us. No, it was in there right. Look at that. One, two, three, four. All right, so let's see. I think there's supposed to be a Mew or something that's worth a lot. Really? Okay, well, new goal, Ultra Prism. We want the Mew, if that's the case. <laughs> I would absolutely love to find that. Let's go. You know what? We've had Leaf twice in a row, so let's go with Leaf Energy. And it's fire. Ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on. Come on. All right. Pokemon Catcher. Metapod. Toracat. Alolan Rattata. Sandile. Picky Pick. Spiro. Fomantis. Ooh, reverse hollow polyrath. Not a bad looking card there. And a regular Hariyama. Wow, this so far has not been the best uh, opening. Last time my first few packs were pretty fire. Okay, let's see if let's see if Sword and Shield can bring us a little better luck here before we get into these hidden fates, because man. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe maybe all the uh, the luck is in Hidden Fates and we're just going to pull, like, you know, the best cards out of Hidden Fates, which would be really great since I don't have very many. <laughs> but that's uh, it's like playing the lottery at this point. Co-card, which was faced the right way. Thank goodness. One, two, three, four. Electric. Ooh, steel. Whatever. Hyper Potion. Team Yogurt, Hitmonlee, Scorupi, Hootoot, 
score bunny. Ooh, Pikachu. I love that. I love that. Oh, I wish I wish Nolan was watching. He would have he would love that. <laughs> really smooth. You, you could put <laughs> Daniel's face all over my <laughs> Yeah, he is at the moment. Oh! Is he really? He Oh, oh, so you're saying he's at oh okay. I thought you were saying that he was watching. I was about to be like, yo. Reverse hollow Roserot? And a Mudsdale. Man. I hope so. I'm excited to see what you get. Yo, I, I'm excited too, but man. The way these packs have went. I don't know. I'm nervous. If we have this luck with, with Hidden Fates. That's going to be heartbreaking. Just disastrous. Makes me nervous. Absolutely nervous. I want cool pictures. <laughs> chicken butt. You're... You're a chicken butt. I don't know exactly who that is. Okay. Alright, I got something for you. The old code card. One, two, three, four. Let's go with water. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's gotta be good luck. So we gotta get something good out of this pack. I mean, statistically, we've got crap out of the rest, so... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm ready to I'm ready to make some stuff like that. Sea King, Ordinary Rod, Bay Day, B Day, I don't know. Score Bunny, Sinus T. I I mean, really, like that's the best they could come up with. Like, a come on now, Meritus. Oh, yo, Pikachu again. All right, set one of these aside. This is going. This is going to Nolan. He's getting the. Since I got two of them, he's getting the other one. Galarian Meowth. Reverse hollow blip pug. Okay, and a, a hollow Marnie. Not the greatest card in the world. Full art would have been better, <clears throat> but it's all right. At least we got a hollow finally. That wasn't a promo card. Your score bunny. Oh, score bunny. <laughs> yeah, I only got like a few of those. All right, everybody. Are y'all ready? Because now I'm kind of nervous. I was super excited. But after the not-so-great openings there, those first few packs... No, what do you mean, no? You better be excited. You, of all people, better be excited for this. Open that Evo. What Evo? You, you just want me to open, like, one Evo? Is that what it is? Or did you have a specific one in mind? Yeah, probably open the... the what is it with y'all want me to open all the evolutions? I don't have that many. Or oh, oh wait. Um, you want me to open it a single Evo, or are you trying to get me to open an Evo ETB? Oh, the one that you got from the ten. Smith, you guys make me want to buy cards. Hey man, you, you don't have you don't have to go crazy like I have and some of the rest of us. But by all means, man, like just go out there and buy a couple. Like it's it's fun to. Okay, so this was the one out of the ten. So you, you want me to open that one? Just one. This is it. This is the one we opened tonight. Is that is that what we're doing? Easy shot. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Okay. Okay. All right, fine. We'll open it. We'll open it. Swear to God, I better get a Charizard out of here. <laughs> Give it a big old kiss for us. You. Oh, my God. Is that the luck? Is that it right there? Is that is that sealing the deal right here? Look us in the eyes when you do it. <laughs> All right. Here you go. Are you ready? Are you ready? That's it, y'all. Chat has decided. And last time, last stream, when the chat told me what, what pack to open, I got a really good card of it. So, cards before you open. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here we go. This is my favorite pack, too. Like, my favorite set. Y'all already know. Oh man, I can feel it. It feels heavy. It feels heavy. The weight of the evolutions is real. Oh, and it didn't spoil it for us. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's remember that this is a three card. We don't want to mess that up because I have done that before. And there shouldn't be an energy. Yeah, three, not four. Thank you, thank you. Oh, dude, so we had a ghastly, and this is a hunter. So that, I mean, that's all. Come on now. Come on. Let's go. Pokedex trainer. Slowbro Spirit Link. There's that Ghastly. Sandshrew. Weedle. 
Tangela. Ponyta. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Electabuzz, which I have a few of. Still a nice card to pull. This is it. Y'all called it. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Oh, regular Starmie. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. D-Snow and Easy Shot. I thought that was the pack, man. I thought that was going to turn the tide. Now I'm just even more nervous about opening my hidden fates. Like, you know what? I'm actually going to put this off to the side because I have a special place I'm putting Evo packs. Just wanted to... Ah, oh, of course. Of course. Oh, and uh, real quick, uh, Easy Shot. I don't think you were in here earlier. So I opened up a Pikachu like tag team battle box. Never opened one before. I got these two promos out of it. I got this Raichu promo. And then when I actually opened the box, there was this Tapu Koko hollow super shiny thing. Not sure that's worth a lot. I just, I love Pikachu and his, so I wanted the promo cards more than anything. But uh, I just wanted to kind of get you up to speed, catch you up on that. All right. So since since a couple of you decided to uh, kind of mess me up, let's, let's go. Let's see. Let's see what we can get out of this first Hidden Fates box. Now I need y'all to really... Uh, I need y'all to, to, to be sending out them good vibes here because these are hard to get a hold of, as you know. They are unfortunately not very cheap, but there's some really, really good cards. Rub this one and give it a spank. <laughs> and look, look, you obviously are not the lucky charm tonight, so I don't know if I'm going to listen to you anymore because uh, normally Evolutions is real good to me, and that Evolutions was garbage. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh, and in case y'all didn't know, like I was telling my buddy Daniel the other day, the inside of ETBs are actually like posters. And so I'm about to show you. And I discovered that when I opened up my first one the other day, my vivid vault. Oh, this is sick. Oh, this is sick. And these posters, I don't, or these ETB box shells, I don't know exactly what size they are. But we happen to have a uh, like poster board frame thing sitting around that was brand new and never been used, and these fit perfectly in it. So I'm gonna put these together and make a poster to hang up. This is sick. I cannot believe this is inside of this. And there's, look, there he is. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. Yo, that is insane, and makes me super, super happy. That is awesome. Here is the player's guide that comes with your ETB. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Make sure nothing's stuck inside of that thing. All right, so we have our game goodies for if you actually play the game. Oh, and it comes with a little GX Tag Team coin there. Nice. These are all going to be energies. We have to... Oh, that's right! Uh, Snow, remember last weekend I wanted this card. Uh, all the Hidden Fates ETBs come with this as the promo card, so that is that is super awesome. That is the three legendary birds, and uh, that is a sick card. Like, super sick, and I've wanted that for a long time, so I am super, super excited about that. Let me get this. Oh, come on now. There's the code card, in case any of you want that. And here's our energies, our dividers. What do these sleeves look like? Ooh, I like those. I like the sleeves it comes with. Nice. Let's put those off to the side. And there is the main meat and potatoes right there. Look, look, and the very the one on top. Look at that. Y'all see that? Look, look. I swear, if we get a shiny Charizard, I will die right here on stream in front of everyone. Like. I will absolutely die. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs of Hidden Face. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, the Charizards will be open last. They got that. They got that dark Charizard magic on them. Oh, three of them too. Absolutely. So we'll do my legendary birds first. Mew, then Mewtwo, then Charizard. Put in a little bit of a, a power play order, if you will. <laughs> Easy shot, my man. I am excited too. 
Woo! I don't know. I'm kind of nervous, though. Those first few packs didn't go too good. We're just not going to listen to Dsno 336 because apparently his advice is not working because that Evo pack just crushed my soul. Absolutely crushed it. And I kissed it just for him to clip it, and he'll probably use that against me later. So let's go with the first Hidden Fates pack. Just, just, just going to say it one more time. Thank you to my amazingly awesome and supportive wife who got this for me for my birthday. I literally would not have these if it were not for her. There's the code, and it wasn't spoilers, which is nice. One, two, three, four. Let's go fire. We're going for that Charizard. Oh, and it's water. Opposite. Okay. Okay. So, Scyther. Jinx. Graveler. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Star you. Ekans. I love how many original Pokemon are in Hidden Face. Eevee. Reverse Hollow Slowpoke. This is it. This is it. Ooh, and a Hollow Vaporeon. Nice. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. At least we got a Hollow out of the very first pack. So a little bit of first pack luck there. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. I'm feeling a little bit better about it again. All right. All right. We're 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 making a comeback here. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Dig that art though. Yeah. Absolutely. No. Hidden Fates has some of the craziest cards, which is what's really disappointing that they're so hard to get and that they're so expensive. Because which granted though, that's part of their popularity. But like, just in my opinion, like Hidden Face is almost like a beefed up evolution in my opinion like there's so many of the original pokemon in it and if you think about it all of the biggest cards that are the most valuable and the most sought after from the fates are original you know from the original 150 151 or so Poke like so don't get me wrong some of the new pokemon are cool but like i don't know if any of y'all avid enthusiasts have noticed or not but all of the super valuable super sought after pokemon cards collectibles anything is still the original from the original 100 151 short of maybe just a few newer ones um that kind of have a little bit of popularity let's go electric ah uh, okay fine that's fine we still got a hollow out of the last one misty's determination pokemon center lady metapod okay you know what that's actually kind of cool uh that's a newer one so i forget who that is back there but again what's better than one pokemon on a card two of them Caterpie. Paris. Okay, let's just get that whole thing. Oh, Charmander. One of my favorites. Clefairy. It's a pretty cool looking little card there. Hey, Slowpoke. <laughs> and Reverse Hollow Caterpie. It doesn't make you any cooler, dude. But it's a nice looking card. I love the, like... I love how each set, their Reverse Hollows, the pattern's a little bit different. It's really cool. And a regular Snorlax. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one. And you know what? It's okay, because when we get done with these packs, we got a whole other ETB to open, so... Super, super excited. Oh, that Charizard so bad. I will die. <laughs> yeah, the hype train's real right now, bro. The hype train is real. One, two, three, and four. Let's go. Psychic. Let's go. Let's go. My second one of the night. All right. All right. That's good luck. That's good luck. Let's go. Farfetched. Brock's Pewter City Gym. G Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got one for you guys that actually watch other openings. I guess the energy. Who's this? Pets on back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Clefairy. Staryu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, a Reverse Hollow, Giovanni's Exile, and a regular Mr. Mime. Dang, no, no psychic energy luck for me there, but it was still fun to guess. So, Chad, if you know, you know, what was the whole Pats on Back thing from? I know at least 
a couple of you should know. D Snow looking at you. Easy shot looking at you. <laughs> yep, that's it. Watched one of his videos earlier, and every time he guesses the energy, he does that. I'm like, why does he do that? So weird. But the dude is a monster when it comes to uh, having Pokemon cards. And oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's see if Mew has any luck for us here. Still hopeful. Still plenty of good cards to pull. Come on. Why are these seals so good? exaggerated mouth when you say it dude i can't i i can't i've i've tried to kind of like i was like practicing it earlier just to be funny i can't do it i don't know how to do it i don't know how he does it the dude is come on already oh look here let's just do it like this hey there we go by the way if you happen to be somebody that tries to open cards for tiktok that's what makes it so difficult a little uh little cheater note for you i actually like pop the top of the pack open a little bit before i actually start the video because the most you got 60 seconds, and I have definitely struggled to get those packs open in time to actually make a video. So, just a little uh, creator tip for you there if you're planning on opening some for the old TikTok. Just prep your pack first, makes it a whole lot easier. Let's go. Uh, fire. I want to see fire. This water. Oh, come on. All right. Sabrina's suggestion. Ooh, Charmeleon. Come on, bringing that, bringing that fire luck, though. It's Discrimination, Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, Cubone, Magikarp. Oh, look at that. And it's got more Magikarps on it. For him to be a, I mean, let's be real, a lame Pokemon, you know. Whoa! Let's go with the shiny Riolu. And what's behind him? Oh, and a hollow Zapdos. Okay, there we go. That's that hidden face magic coming in for us right there. There we go. Okay. Okay. See, that's that's what's that's what's popping right there. That's that's that motivation we need. That right there is just hidden fates has some of the best shiny cards of any set. They really do. Like, I've watched other people open these, and I'm like, wow, I really want that card. And here we are getting them real time that was awesome we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start getting some full arts or something here before long to uh match that another mew pack let's see if mew brings us that luck here well this caterpie off the rip doesn't give me a warm and fuzzy <laughs> code card and see what I mean? So, Hidden Fates, one of the more sought-after and expensive sets. And so far, we have not had a code card uh, upside down or packed in error yet. So, I really feel like some of those other sets are just... I don't know. I don't, they were throwing them all together on a Friday, maybe. Who knows? Let's go Leaf Energy. Ooh, Psychic again. Far-fetched. Misty's Cerulean City Gym. Brock's Pewter City Gym. Okay, there's a bunch of gym cards. All right. Caterpie, Charmander. Now an evolution set would be good luck, but here I don't know. Clefairy, Psyduck, another Magic Carp. Yo, are you serious? A shiny Sudowoodo. Two shinies in a row. Let's go. Absolutely. Okay, that is awesome. Super motivating. Also a little worrisome. What's going to be in the next few packs, you know? Your luck eventually runs out, right? But two shinies in a row. Not going to be mad at that at all. And especially since I don't have any of these cards yet, because I've hardly opened any Hidden Fates. That means the collection is booming. So let's see if Mewtwo has any better luck for us here. How's everybody doing, though? Are we still excited? Is this going to be the pack? Does this have my, my shiny Charizard in it? I sure hope so. If you guys are ready to see me die, that's what we need to pull. I believe there's also a Dragonite in this set, maybe? <clears throat> it's like a full art that's really good. So, wouldn't mind that either. Boom. No spoilers again on the code. 
One, two, three, four. I need to see fire. Let's go fire. Fighting, of course. Okay. Okay. Sabrina's suggestion. Charmeleon. Misty's determination. Magikarp. Oh, there we go. No one would love that. Ah. Pikachu with a little... Well, I like that. I like that. That's a cool little card there. Voltorb. Coughing. Cubone. Okay. A hollow steel energy. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. Not the most valuable card in the world, but another one that I did not have and have been wanting. The three legendary birds. Outstanding. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So now I can put it beside the promo card. That is sick. There is a, I believe, a full art uh, shiny version of that as well. That's even more sick, or it's like rainbow. So there is still one better than that, but that is sick pull. Sick pull. Super, super excited about that right there. So you go over here. Too many cards up here. See, now we've had now we've had a few really good pulls in a row. Makes me nervous. Can our luck continue? Woo! After this one, we get into the Zard packs. Look, we gotta have it. We gotta have it. Alright, another Mewtwo. Let's go. If I can get it open again. Well, they really want these things sealed up good. Good card. One, two, three, four. Let's go electric. I haven't guessed electric in a while. It's all right. It's all right. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Koga's trap. Brock's grit. Cubone. Man, we got a lot of those Cubone cards. Eevee. Clefairy. Psyduck. Ekans. Let's freaking go. Let frick. Oh my goodness, yo. Absolutely awesome pull there. Yo. And it's ho oh, oh. oh my goodness. Okay, well. Like, I was not expecting it. It wasn't even the last card. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? It, it wasn't even the last card. <clears throat> the last card, it was in, like, the reverse hollow slot. I believe that this is actually a fairly sought-after card, especially being him. Um, that is pro That's the best pull I've pulled so far. That's absolutely nuts. Yo, uh, yeah, like, absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, this one's absolutely getting a hard sleeve. Holy crap. It is just, like, legendary bird night with these hidden fates, like... Holy cow. Okay, well that is absolutely insane. That is that is insane. Cannot believe I just pulled that. So far, Hidden Fates has been amazing. And now I see why the hype. <laughs> like, I absolutely see why the hype. Oh my goodness. Like, the camera doesn't do that justice. If you've not seen one of these in, in person, it's that is an insane card. Holy cow. All right, everybody. Let's go. This is that. This is that luck. This is that luck right here. First Charizard pack. Let's go. Man, it's gonna be hard to. It's gonna be hard to, to come back from that though. That was. That was an absolutely insane pool. Hey, uh, easy shot. If you could, could you, could you look up real quick and tell me. If, like how good that is like what it's worth what it because i swear i watched one of my my favorite youtubers pull that card not too long ago and he was like losing his mind over it and it was like a pretty big deal so i should have pulled up tcg before i started this i always forget that one two three four let's go electric i want to see electric oh leaf okay metapod Giovanni's Exile, 
Koga's Trap, Staryu, Voltor, hey, Snowman, that's yours. That's coming to you, buddy. Jigglypuff, Ekans, ooh, Reverse Hollow, Mr. Mon, and a Butterfree. Okay, I knew, I knew a, I knew a not so hot pack was coming. Our luck was way too hot. <laughs> well. Yeah, but it, you still get to enjoy it, so, you know. But, yeah, it's absolutely Nolan's. Absolutely. All right, Charizard Pack 2. Let me get some of this 88-mile-an-hour energy. Tastes really good, though. Man, these packs... These hidden face are some of the hardest packs I've ever opened. Like, jeez. Look at that. Still not a still not an error code card yet. I love it. I absolutely love it. One, two, three, four. Let's go Leaf Energy since we've had so many of those. Oh, of course. Of course. Scyther. Jinx. Graveler. Geodude. Clefairy. Eevee. Ekans. Paris. Ooh, Reverse Hollow Jinx. And Bill's Analysis. Okay. Alright, so we got one Charizard pack left. Let's bring that, let's bring that hype, and that energy, and that good luck. And where's my shiny? I don't know why I didn't leave those out so I could go through those later. All right, last last pack from that box, Magic. The Zards are being a pain. Well, they always are the... The Champion's Path Zard, though, is one I really want. And I, I do have quite a bit of Champion's Path product. So, hopefully, I got one. That GX Bird is around 40 bucks. Okay, okay, so 40 bucks for the, the Ho-Oh. Not, not too bad. Still a sick card. One, two, three, four. Let's go water. Oh my, look at that. The one time I don't guess electric. Uh, PSA 10 was 100-ish. Oh, okay. Dang. It could be a 10. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the faith that I'm going to get a bunch of 10s, but <laughs> it would be nice. Misty's Determination. Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke. Bro, there it is again. Look at that. Pikachu, Charmander, Reverse Hollow Graveler. Let's go. Gyarados GX. Not bad for the last pack. I'll take that. I will take that any day and every day. Man, the Hidden, hidden Fates collection is starting off right. I wish they weren't so expensive and a little bit easier to get a hold of because I would definitely get some more, but holy cow, are they just absolutely nuts. Like Hidden Fates is... I think Hidden Fates is only second to Evolutions as far as maybe though. You know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, for real. But... Let's not get discouraged just yet because we have another one. And that was uh, that was some pretty good pulls out of that one, so I'm fairly excited for this one. Hoping we don't get any duplicates, especially since I've only got two boxes to open. But... Save that for my poster. Alright. So we're pretty much already 
see what's in here. Make sure nothing's caught up in that. There's our coin pack. Oh, here we go. Code card. There's our second promo card, which I absolutely love. But here's that that main goodness here. Let's see, oh, there we go. There's a Zard. Another Zard. Oh, only got two Zards in this one. Three Mews, two Mewtwo's. And some legendary bird action. All right, let's go. Let's see. Let's see if we get some first pack magic out of this box here. Man, I'm loving these code cards, not spoiling it for us. One, two, three, four. I'm going to guess it again. Electric. Water, come on. Got to be kidding me here. Pokemon Center Lady. Metapod. Sabrina's Suggestion, Geodude, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Coughing, Staryu, oh, Snow, look at that, Reverse Hollow Pikachu, I like that, let's go, let's go with the Mewtwo GX, heck yeah, definitely one of the cards I wanted, I have zero Mewtwo cards currently in my collection, so that is an epic pull. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, man. I mean, I think this is like... This is definitely going better than... Ungraded Mew is 90 bucks. Jeez. So, I mean... The centering definitely isn't perfect. It's I'm not sure if y'all can tell, but it's closer to the right than the left. So I definitely doubt this is a ten. Um, but still, super nice card and definitely one I needed for the collection. I think this is going better than my Vivid Voltage opening did. Like I think I've already got better pulls out of these than I have. Man, like no wonder this is such a hot set. Like this has been pretty good. get these things open. Oh man, the first card's Pika. Look at that. That's our code. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna guess water. And of course it's fire. I wanted to say fire at first too. I should have just stuck with it. Metapod. Jinx. Magmar. Pikachu. Magikarp. Coughing. Clefairy. Star you. Let's go. Altaria GX. And a regular Butterfree. Look at that. With with the pulls tonight on the hidden face, like holy cow. This is sick and really starting off the collection nice. And unfortunately, it's just going to make me really want to finish the collection. And Hidden Fates is incredibly difficult to get a hold of. Man, that is awesome. I mean, really, really, this has been the best the best pull so far. Like, time to play the lotto. <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, at this point, that's what it would take because, holy crap, Hidden Fates are expensive and hard to find, so... Wow, that is that is sick. Both of these boxes so far have just been insane. Let's see if we can keep it going. I mean, look at that. Like, it, like why are these so difficult? There we go. Well, they really wanted you to know that these weren't resealed. That's our code. One, two, three, four. We'll guess Psychic. Dark. 
Lucinda Surge's Strategy. Misty's Determination. Pokemon and Cinder Lady. Cubone. Voltor. Geodude. Eevee. Clefairy. Let's go. A shiny Wooper. I mean, it is just like pull after pull. Like, holy cow. These are awesome. I mean, this set has been awesome. Like, this is really going to be hard to follow up. Like, Vivid Voltage and Champion's Path. I better step up his game. Like, no wonder Hidden Fates is so so popular. Let's see if Mew brings us any luck here. I sure hope so, because there's still some, some big cards left. Three, four. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Lightning or electric? Ah, oh, psychic. Come on. A lot of psychics in these. Chansey. Brock's grit. Scyther. Ekans. Caterpie. Paris. Charmander. Clefairy. Okay, so last time I had one of these, we got a pretty good card. Let's see if there's anything behind it. Oh, regular electrode. It's alright. They can't all be good packs, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be as much fun. Or as valuable. <laughs> alright, so... Mew gets a second chance here. Let's go with fire. Psychic again. Come on. Misty's Determination. Pokemon Center Lady. Sabrina's Suggestion. Okay. Geodude. Jigglypuff. Staryu. Ekans. Eevee. What is with the hollow energies tonight? That's the third one. Okay. Well, we're knocking out those uh, hollow energies on the collection, so... And I am thankful that so far I haven't got doubles yet of any good card. Obviously, I've got a lot of doubles of the regular cards, but... Still getting new stuff when it comes to the good cards, so... Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's go with water. Leaf. Ah. Jinx. See ya, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Magbar. Farfetched. Psyduck. Charmander. Magikarp. Slowpoke. Clefairy. Reverse Hollow Erica's Hospitality. And a Hollow Jesse and James trainer card. Do believe that there is a full art of that that is far more desirable. All right, so we're down to down to Mewtwo now. Let's see if Mewtwo can bring us any uh, bring us any luck here. Are you ready to safely rediscover all One, North two, Carolina three, four. And electric. I still want to see electric. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. This is this is good luck here. Charmeleon. Chansey. Brock's Grit. Ekans. Caterpie. Paris. Charmander. Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow Brock's Training. And another Hollow Zapdos. Right on. Still one of my favorite Pokemon. And one of my favorite cards. Never gonna be mad at that. But I do believe that is my first double. As far as good cards go, anyway. Ah, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Alright. 
Another Mewtwo. Then we're on to the to the Zards. All right, we need a we need a Hidden Fates uh, full art. Come on now. Two, three, four. We only got a few packs left. Let's go. Let's go. Fighting. Sabrina's Suggestion. Scyther. Charmeleon. Got quite a few of those. Caterpie. Paris. Charmander. Slowpoke. Psyduck. A Reverse Hollow Chansey. And a Blaine's Last Stand. Oof. Come on now. Come on now. Two packs left. Come on. We gotta get one more super good card. All right, we got the two, the two Zard packs left. They feel kind of heavy. They feel heavy. Let's see. Let's see if they hold that that magic for us. If I can get them open, man. These things are hateful. Let's go. Let's go. Last two packs. Something, Something's good in one of these. I can feel it. Jinx. Magmar. Brock's Grit. Psyduck. Magikarp. Staryu. Voltorb. Pikachu. Shiny Lucario. What is up? And a regular Weezing. There we go. Not a bad card there. Everybody loves Lucario. <laughs> yeah, right? Everybody loves Lucario. I watched one of my favorite uh, YouTubers pull this exact card earlier today, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go over the pulls we got out of these two after this, and it is quite a bit. All right. Last pack magic. Can the last... Zard pack. Bring the heat. May not be my last pack of Hidden Fates. I do have various tins and boxes that could have some in it, but the chances of that are slim to none. Um, but this is the last from the ETBs, so this is this is it right here. We gotta we gotta end the Hidden Fates reign with a good a good pull here. We need something just smoking a full art would be really clutch right now but we'll see one two three four I'm not even gonna guess energy we're just gonna roll into it we're just gonna roll into it come on Scyther Charmeleon Metapod Pikachu Clefairy Jigglypuff Caterpie Paris. Ooh, nice reverse hollow Jolteon card. But what's underneath it? <laughs> Y'all see that, right? Y'all see that, right? Ooh. Raichu GX. All right. All right. I do believe that this is a promo card or almost the same as a promo card. So, not the. Uh, Heck yeah, the play. Yeah, right? Not the uh, most valuable or even sought after card, I don't think. But I love it, and I don't have it. So, for last pack magic, I will take that. I will absolutely take that. So, real quickly, we will do a. I can get this up off of there. Do a quick recap of the awesome pulls from these two boxes, real quick. So here's our big take from tonight, our Raichu GX, our Shiny Lucario, our Hollow Zapdos, our Shiny Whooper. This Altaria GX though, that is such a nice card. Love that. Ah, that Mewtwo GX though. You can you can never be mad at pulling a Mewtwo card. I mean, come on now. The promo card, which is absolutely sick. Gyarados GX, another awesome pull. The 
second zap just so I believe that that was the only uh, duplicate that I got tonight as far as better cards go our shiny Riolu our shiny Sudowoodo that Oho GX though slammer of a card absolute slammer of a card our tag team with the three legendary birds and our second promo from the second box so all in all not too bad not too bad at all super super thankful to have even had hidden fates to open and in case y'all didn't get to see earlier these are the sleeves that come in them so those look pretty pretty wicked as well but that is going to wrap it up for tonight. I appreciate everyone stopping by. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. I have plenty more stuff to open, so we will be back. Uh, I think next time I'm going to do a Champion's Path. That's what I really want to do. I, I want to open some Champion's Path. And I have a couple Champion's Path ETBs and a couple of like the Hatterene boxes and things. So I believe the next one we're just going to do... Uh, <laughs> do it, yeah. I, I believe the next one we're just going to do just a mad champions path opening like we're going for we're going for the shiny zard i mean we're just gonna we're gonna hit it hard and and see what champions path will do for us because uh i really want to really want to see what i can get out of there and then uh have some more vivid voltage that we need to open as well uh, i'm trying to collect as much evo packs as i can and i do have some shining fates pre-ordered i also have some of the new battle styles pre-ordered so as soon as those come out, which should be pretty soon, uh, that, that should be a pretty pretty hype opening there as well. I know a lot of people are, are going to be on that and, and opening them, but uh, hopefully we'll get some good stuff out of those too, get to open up some new stuff. So more to come. I appreciate everybody stopping by, hanging out, and checking us out. Uh, more to come. Thanks, everybody, and have a good night.